Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today's video is going to be a pretty quick uh, sound comparison test between two different variants of the microphone that you might be using for something like this kind of a video, whether it, <clears throat> you know it's a video blog or you're recording voiceovers or you're recording a podcast. So microphones in the general category of podcasting microphone, studio microphone, without going uh, too much into the polar patterns and all the other details so um, I happen to have one of each kind of microphone each being one USB microphone and one XLR microphone which I recently upgraded to so this was the first uh, podcasting microphone I used with my YouTube channel what you're listening to here is the Maono AU902 this is a pretty popular microphone for those looking for a sort of budget friendly uh, studio mic suitable for this kind of work now um, it is a little bit, it does end up gaining a little bit too high when I record into my computer and I'm just gonna give all the details so everything I'm doing in this comparison is clear. Um, there is going to be post-processing. I always normalize my uh, videos in post-production to minus 23 LUFS in Caden Live, uh, which is a video editor on Ubuntu at a three second sampling interval. So that's just the uh, little detail that both of these uh, tests are going to be going through that level uh, level normalization. Now this is, uh, I'm recording this into a computer running Ubuntu Linux 2204. Um, the gain is set to, in my PaView control, I have it up at 100%, uh, which is zero dB, but I have had to apply a minus 15.6 dB gain offset in uh, OBS Studio in order to stop myself peeking into the red zone. So I had to play a little bit of negative gain. And there is, uh, this is I think a fairly decent microphone. It does have on board uh, audio monitoring via a 3.5 mil jack, which is nice. And I have, it's got its own uh, gain wheel on the microphone body itself, which is the second one up here. Um, so let's just do a couple of tests and speaking into the microphone, speaking a bit off axis to the right, off axis to the left, off axis up, off axis down. Speaking right up close here, coming right up to uh, my lips now, touching the microphone foam, and coming to a slightly more comfortable um, and uh, visually better uh, speaking position of about probably seven or eight centimeters above the microphone. Um, I'm using a 60, 60 millisecond uh, um, latency offset to try to get the sync just right. Um, I may not be required for this particular microphone. And this microphone costs about $60, which m means it's cheaper than a Blue Yeti. Although the reason I picked this particular microphone was that it was included in the uh, shipping to Israel deal. Uh, so if stuff is a little bit over 75 bucks, we have to pay VAT and sometimes customs on it. So I got this microphone because I knew it would be easy to pick up and it would ship straight to my door in less than two weeks, which it did. So this is a Maono AU902. I watched a couple of YouTube videos this morning. Seems to be a microphone people are pretty happy with. Um, certainly the videos I did earlier sounded okay on it. And with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead now and put the Audio-Technica uh, AT2020, which is an XLR microphone. I'm going to pop that now into the uh, shock mount here and we're gonna swap over and change microphone. Okay, so I've gone and swapped over to the Audio-Technica AT2020. Now comparing it to the Maono USB microphone I was just recording with, this is a little bit more expensive. This is a $100-ish RRP microphone versus that Maono USB microphone that came in at about $60. So this is not quite double the price, but in that territory. So it's a little bit um, of a step up in terms of price. Now, obviously, because this is an XLR microphone, um, I have to use an audio interface to get it into my computer. So I'm using the Behringer Euphoria UM2, which is a really popular audio inter interface. Uh, other than that, it's the same setup I'm recording into OBS Studio on Ubuntu 2204. And I have it on even in the same uh, microphone mount and shock mount. So uh, this is the uh, same quality from the second microphone. Just to repeat a little bit of testing here, I'm not obviously using a pop filter. And I have noticed that uh, the plosives and plosives and plosives, like a bun eating breakfast uh, with a pig, bunny eating breakfast with a pig. I'm trying to find some combinations of P's and B's. Um, there is a little bit of that kind of crunching noise. 
Um, in terms of the microphone setting, so this one uh, does not have any gain trims on the microphone body, but the Behringer Euphoria UM UM2 does. So I have the gain level I'm looking now up to probably about 60 to 70%. There's actually three gains, uh, three gain settings here, which makes life a little bit confusing. 60% on the hardware, on the um, on the software level, on the PavU control, I have it up to 100 but on the software level, so that's the OS gain, and on the application gain, which is OBS Studio, I've applied a negative gain offset of minus 4.3 dB, uh, just to again, keep the peak levels somewhere in the yellow zone on the level meter and trying to avoid clipping. So that's it, uh, comparison, audio comparison head to head of these two microphones i know probably not the most scientific method but um, i'll be interested to listen to the difference between these two mics and if you have your own thoughts uh, you can also check out my video yesterday in which i tried to use an isolation shield with this audio technica microphone to see if that would take away some of the uh, plosives and the uh, reverberation from uh, doing these videos in a non-soundproof room non-sound treated room i should say uh, thank you guys for watching this microphone comparison sound test if you are looking at uh, these two microphones, uh, specifically the Audio Technica and Maono. I hope it was useful, or if you're just trying to think about the differences between a XLR microphone and a USB microphone, to state the obvious, and a USB microphone is going to be more, a little bit more transportable because you don't have to use a uh, audio interface. However, I did pick up a really nice product from Pile in the summer, and it's a little, it's a XLR to USB adapter that's only about this big so that is that to me would be the and it also offers phantom power injection so that does kind of everything an interface well almost everything a full-fledged audio interface does uh and that can be a good solution for those looking to travel with their microphone but obviously with a, a usb mic uh, you don't have that worry. You just need a USB port on whatever you're recording into. I hope this video was useful. If you want to get more videos from me about video, audio tech, and other subjects, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.